So if okay. we imagine a situation where we have a projectile launching some angle theta and an initial velocity v naught, then we can work out the time of flight and the distance that it travels. So we'll want v naught in components of v naught x x hat plus a v naught y y hat. And these components can be given by individual trig functions. V naught x is equal to this part, which is the cosine of that angle. V naught cosine theta and V naught y is the sine times the hypotenuse. Once we have that, we know that the acceleration only acts in the x direction, so we can find the time of flight with our v naught y initial being our v naught sine theta is going to suffer an acceleration plus a which is t or here a will equal negative g or negative 9.8 meters per second squared on the surface of Earth. And when that equals the negative of the initial velocity, we'll know that it's gone up, come to a stop, and then come back down. Solving for t gives us t equals 2 v naught y initial, which is just v naught sine theta over g, which then allows us to solve for the total distance traveled by the rejection, which will be just delta x equals v naught x t equals v naught cosine theta v naught x term and 2 v naught sine theta over g. This is my t term. Quick check of units. We have v naught v naught, which will be meters squared per second squared over g. Meters per second squared means I'm left with meters, and the cosine and sine have no units which means that dimensionally I'm in a good spot with a final answer of 2 v naught squared over g sine theta cosine theta.